Is it cruel and unusual punishment for public school teachers to discipline their students by spanking them? The court examined the constitutionality of public school corporal punishment in Ingram v. Wright. A Florida statute authorized limited corporal punishment in Florida public schools. In Dade County, school board policy allowed teachers to strike students' buttocks up to five times with a wooden paddle. Both the statute and school board policy required consultation with the school principal before corporal punishment could be imposed. If a punishment was later found to be excessive, the school official who administered it could face civil or criminal liability. James Ingram and Roosevelt Andrews were junior high students in Dade County. One day in 1970, after Ingram responded too slowly to his teacher, his principal, Willie Wright, paddled him more than 20 times. Andrews also received numerous paddlings for minor infractions. Ingram and Andrews brought an action in Florida federal court against Wright, other school officials, and the Dade County superintendent. They alleged that the paddlings violated their constitutional rights and they requested damages. They also requested declaratory and injunctive relief on behalf of all Dade County students. The district court dismissed the complaint, concluding that the corporal punishment generally practiced in the county schools wasn't unconstitutional. The court also found that the paddlings received by Ingram and Andrews weren't cruel and unusual punishment prohibited by the Eighth Amendment. On appeal, the Fifth Circuit affirmed the dismissal. The United States Supreme Court granted cert.